on YouTube and you can't find a video on how to install or remove and install or replace your intake NOx sensor on a 67 uh, Cummins, then stick around and look no further because you come to the right video. Hey guys, so real quick, um, I wanted to publish this video because I could not find anything out here in YouTube land with my setup here, at least stating that the intake NOx uh, sensor here on this particular turbo is the location of upstream. So there's other videos out there that I don't know what they were referring to, but was not sensor one or the intake or the um, upstream sensor. So this video is how you install and remove and install your NOx sensor on a 6.7 Cummins. So right there is where the actual old sensor um, housed, right here. So the other end is gonna be back here where I show you. But I'm gonna go ahead and replace it with this brand new one here, and I'll put the part in the description later. But I was having check engine code of the 2001. And so this is the intake upstream knock sensor or NOx sensor and it's been um, pretty much um, it's, it's out of order. I've already taken it apart and cleaned it with uh, Lucas carb cleaner and all that good stuff and cleared it with my machine and it did go away but then after that it came back so it's time to replace it. So what you're looking at back down in here is uh, the other end of the harness. And it all right right here I know the lighting is kind of bad, but I'm moving it with my hand. It's that yellow tab. It's square right here. I wish I had better lighting, but I don't. There you go. Right here. So this part is actually what plugs in uh, to this part here. And then there's a yellow locking tab that you squeeze and locks down in there. It's that simple uh, to remove this part out. Uh, you you want to use... Uh, just a mini socket, that way you can get your hands in there. And I'm using an eight mil. And uh, basically it's attached with this system here. And basically what this does is you got one on each side here, like this. And uh, I guess it's for shock, shock absorption, but it just goes on there like that with this bolt and that through it holding it on there. Um, I'm guessing it's already been replaced at one point in time because there was not a bolt here, which I don't believe you need one and it was very hard to get to. So I'm thankful that it was removed. Yay. So uh, let's get this installed. Again, it's just reverse method of uh, what I've already done here. So I'm about to show you how I install it and it's just the reverse method to, to remove it. So um, the first method I did is I went ahead and took this out and you see these holes here. This whole sensor was full of carbon. You see how you get a little bit of build up there? Well, it was worse than that and caked on here. So I let it soak overnight, um, clean it with some carb cleaner, put the straw up to each one of these holes, blew it all out. A lot of times this can be a remedy and save you guys several hundred dollars. You know, these guys go up to 600 bucks depending on uh, the brand where you get them. So I was gonna try that method and unfortunately it didn't work. Within 40 miles, my check engine came on. So definitely try that route first, cleaning it, then reinstalling it. You don't even have to unplug the module, just unscrew it right from the inlet. Let this hang down inside the, the Lucas uh, fuel stabilizer cleaner and just let it do its thing because that Lucas has those That's its job is to break up the carbon deposits. So It just eats away this stuff and then make sure you let an adequate amount of time for it to dry Don't just install it back in the inlet pipe once you take it out. Make sure it's thoroughly dry All right guys, I want to see if you guys can see this here, but this is the harness that was with the the, the truck this is the backside of the uh, NOx sensor, NOx sensor. 
and it just plugs in like that right here. You squeeze it in, and this is the locking tab. So once it's fully seated, you'll fill it, and then you just lock it in like that. Then it's not coming out. Uh, the two bolts here, this, uh, the top one, it actually flips over like that and sits up against the wall here. Let me zoom out so I can, I can show you right here on this plate. So the bolt will come back through here like this. And then you'll have those, uh, those cushion uh, washers that I showed you that I'll actually grab on to uh, the prong here and hold it against the, the wall. So uh, once you do that, then you want to run, uh, run the wire and it'll have its holding brackets throughout the, um, the truck frame and other parts of, of the engine to keep the wire out of the way. All right, so the NOx sensor is installed there. You see the little orange tab that are holding it down. Um, let me see if I can pan around here with the light. Uh, right back here is where they get held down, that little clasp. Uh, it simply just pops open and just run the wire in there, close it back. It'll run up through here. You see this black wire. And it gets held again right here on this one. So I left this one undone so you can see how this works. Simply as putting it right in there and then locking it in. It's that simple. And then it routes over to the inlet part of the turbo, which is right here. And what's nice, it already comes with the anti-seize and it just drops right down in front of this little heat shield in this hole here. And it spins, which is nice. So you don't gotta worry about the, the actual wires kinking up on you. So you can do either, wet, either side first. As you see, I'm just doing this with my fingers. Um, and I'm just gonna do a hand torque, pair of channel locks and call it a day. So let me zoom out. That's it. It's not, a, it's not that much work. Simply uh, these bolts here that hold on to the, the wheel well, which I have here behind me. Removing that and then getting access to all your piping, your turbo and this front sensor. So after this installation, um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my OBD2 reader and clear the code and um, just let the computer learn as I you know, continue to drive and hopefully it uh, eradicated this um, check engine sensor and it's now fixed. Uh, there are two other sensors in this SRC system. Uh, system. You got the NOx2, uh, which is on the back side, and then the um, um, the def fluid sensor, along with a temperature sensor. So just make sure that upstream sensor one is your turbo intake, two is in the back, and it's the modules on the frame of the truck here. The first one here is down inside behind the oil filter. So guys, I hope this helps you. Um, again, thanks for tuning back in. If you can drop me a message, a comment, I definitely like to read those. And until next time, guys, God bless.